Welcome to the evaluation and management portion of this course. Evaluation and management services are used to report visits of medical providers. It is the first section in the CPT manual even though numerically it should be last. It was brought to the front because this is where most services begin with what we call evaluation and management of a patient. During the visit, the provider evaluates signs, symptoms, or overall health of a patient and manages any diseases or illnesses the patient has. These services are provided whether the patient is at the hospital, doctor's office, or other location. Visits are called evaluation and management services, abbreviated as E and M, and are not specific to one medical specialty. The first step is to determine the category or subcategory of service, so let's start here. E&M codes are divided into categories representing the type of service such as office visit, emergency department, nursing facility, etc. Some categories are divided further into subcategories to indicate specific details reflecting the status of the patient as either new or established or inpatient or outpatient. Subcategories are divided into levels which are assigned a five-digit code. This is an example of office visits. First, you need to determine is the office visit when you go see your physician, is it a new patient or an established patient? If it's a new patient, you have levels of care. We call these 99201 level 1, 99202 level 2, 99203 level 3, all the way to 99205 level 5. Same thing for established patients. You have 99211 for level 1 established and 99215 for level 5 established. We're going to go into how you determine the level a little bit later. First, let's talk about how you determine a new patient versus an established patient. A new patient has not received any face-to-face -face professional services from the physician or qualified healthcare professional or a physician or qualified healthcare professional of the exact same specialty within the same group. New patients have not been seen within the last three years. Established patients have been seen by a provider in a group in the last three years. There are three key components to every evaluation and management code, and that is a history, an exam, and medical decision making. This is how you determine the level of code. A history is the medical history of the patient. An exam is the physical exam of the patient, so if they check your heart rate or they check your reflexes. That's a physical exam. They're physically examining you. Medical decision making is the complexity of the decision making of the provider for your specific diagnosis. So the steps for coding are listed here. First, you must select the category or subcategory of the service, which is, was it a hospital visit, an office visit, what was it? Then you will review the level of the ENM service descriptors, and examples. You'll need to determine the level of history, the level of exam, the le level of medical decision making, and select the appropriate e &M service. For this test, they will mostly tell you the levels of each. You need to know that a history and exam is leveled by problem-focused, expanded problem-focused, detailed, or comprehensive, and medical decision making is straightforward, low, moderate, or high. Throughout the e &M section, you will see verbiage like this. Requires two of the three key components. And again, the key components are history, exam, and medical decision making. When it says it requires two of the three, you go to the middle code if there aren't two codes that are the same. If it says it requires three of the three components, you always go to the lowest. And I know that's a little bit tricky to understand right now. We're going to take office visits as an example. Let's look at new patients first. 99201, which is our level one new patient, says it's an office visit or an outpatient visit for an evaluation and management of a new patient, which requires these three components, a problem-focused history, a problem-focused exam, and a straightforward medical decision-making. 99202 says an expanded problem-focused history, an expanded problem-focused exam, and a straightforward medical decision-making. 99203 says a detailed exam, a detailed history, and a low complexity medical decision making. 99204 says a comprehensive exam, a comprehensive 
history, moderate medical decision making. 99205 is a comprehensive history, a comprehensive exam, but a high complexity medical decision making. So because these codes say they require all three of the components, you must meet all three of those to get that code. So let's do an example. Let's say that the patient had a detailed history, a comprehensive exam, and moderate medical decision making. The best way I can explain for you to easily do this is in your CPT book with a pencil, you can make little marks next to which one they apply to. So I said they had a detailed history, a comprehensive exam, and moderate medical decision making. You might be tempted to code 99204, but you cannot code 99204 because you don't have a comprehensive history. You have to default to the code below it because you exceeded a detailed exam. You got a comprehensive exam and you exceeded low complexity medical decision making. You went above that to moderate complexity. So you meet a 99203. Let's look at an example for an established patient. An established patient says, you ask me two of the three. So for our 99212, let's say the scenario gave us a problem focused history, but they gave us an expanded problem focused exam and a low complexity medical decision making. We can go with 99213 because it says it requires two of the three, and we did meet two of these three. So we get a 99213. Now, let's say that on one scenario, that you had a problem-focused history again, and you had a detailed exam, and a high-complexity medical decision-making. You have one in each in three different categories. So in this scenario, you would not go with 99215 because you don't have two of the three. You only have one. However, you would go with 99214 because you exceeded moderate complexity medical decision making and got high. So you technically do meet this level because you have two of the three, a detailed exam and a high complexity medical decision making. So your code would be 99214. Every time I teach E&M, it takes a minute for the students to grasp leveling the code, the two of the three, the three of the three. For the exam, probably about eight out of the 10 questions, they're gonna tell you, is it expanded problem focused, problem focused, low, moderate. So you won't have to figure that part out, but you do need to know how to find the correct code, and that's half the battle. So. I really just want to make sure that, that that really just sinks in because that is the main part to evaluation and management coding. So we're going to do some scenarios together. I put in the scenarios EPF for expanded problem focused, PF for problem focused, SF for straightforward. So that's how we're going to do these scenarios. So the first one I'm going to do it with you guys. So the first scenario is we have a problem-focused history, an expanded problem-focused exam, and a straightforward medical decision-making. If you look, we're going to start with the new patient column. If you look in your book, you're going to want to look for problem-focused. That's the first thing you're looking for. What new patient code has problem-focused history in it? And that would be an 01, a 99201. So we're going to put that on our history portion in the new patient column. Uh, for the exam, let's go look who, which code has expanded problem focused. And that is a 99202. So 02 is where I put in number two. And then what code has straightforward? Well, both 99201 and 99202 have a straightforward medical decision making. So in that case, we're always going to get the highest because we want to, we want to give them the highest code. And since it meets a 99202, we're going to put an 02 there. Okay, so now we have all of our history exam and medical decision making. This is a new patient. We got to pick the lowest because we 
we didn't have that history to meet a level two, so we got to go back to that level one. So we're going to the lowest. Now let's look at established patient column. Same scenario, but with an established patient, it says pick two of, you have to have two of the three. So my tip is you pick either the middle code or you pick the one that has two of the levels. So let's do this one. So you go to history, we've got problem focused. So that's gonna be a 99212. So I put one two in history. In the exam, we're looking for expanded problem focused. I'm giving a 99213 for that, if you look at that code. And then straightforward medical decision making is a one two. So in this case, we have two 99212s. So that is the code we're going to, because we're picking the one either in the middle or the one that has two. So now let's do one together so I can show you how I look through my book with it. So this scenario, write it down. We're gonna do an expanded problem focused history, a detailed exam, and a low medical decision making. So let's look in the book. Notice how I put PF, PF, SF, so I don't have to read through all that and it's just easier for me to see. So let's start with the new patient column. So we're looking for expanded problem focused. So we're looking for an EPF. So I've got an O2 because see that's where our first EPF is. And um, 99203, it goes to a detailed. So we've got to do O2 here for the history. And then we have a detailed exam. So your 99203 has a detailed exam. So we're gonna do an O3 there. And then we have a low medical decision making. And your 99203 has a low medical decision making. So we've got an O3 here. Let's go back to our table. Okay, so we had an O2 here. We had O3 here and an O3 here. So this is a new patient. We had an O2, O3, and an O3. It says pick the lowest. So our code is 99202. Now let's try that with established. So for established, we're looking for expanded problem focused. And that is on 99213. So we've got a 1-3 for our history. Now we're going to look for a detailed exam. And that's over here in a 1-4. And then we're going to look for a low medical decision making. And that's over here with a 1-3. Let's go back to our table. So let's put that in the boxes here. We've got a 1-3, 1-4 and a 1-3. And again, we have two of the same codes, a 1-3 and a 1-3, so our code is 99213. Let's do another one. And this time we're gonna just do both the new and established, and then we'll come back to the table. Hopefully this is starting to make sense. If not, just keep practicing. The new patients, we're looking for comprehensive for the history. And that is on 04 and 05. So what do we do? We give them the highest. So we're gonna give them an 05 here. And then we're looking for comprehensive for the exam. And that's on both 04 and 05. So we're gonna get an 05 here. And we have a high complexity medical decision making. So we're gonna give them an 05 here. Then let's do the established patient and then we'll go back to our table. So we're looking for a comprehensive history and that is a 1-5. We're looking for a comprehensive exam, and that's a 1-5, and a comprehensive, and a high medical decision making, and it's a 1-5. You had it. So this scenario is pretty easy. You had 05, an 05, and an 05. So your code is 99205 for a new patient, and you had a 1-5, 1-5, and a 1-5. So your code is 99215. Okay, so let's do another scenario. On this one, we've got problem focused, detailed, and high. So P, F, D, and H. Let's go to our book. Okay, so let's start with the new patient. We're looking for problem focused. And that is an O1. 
we're looking for, and just a cheat, a one is as low as you can go. On the test, you could go ahead and say my code's a one because even if you got no two and no three and no four on your exam and um, your medical decision making, you have to go to the lowest. So you're at the lowest right now. There's no need to even look any further, but we are for this scenario. So we're looking for a detailed exam and that's on a 03. And then we're looking for a high medical decision making. And that is on a 05. And let's do the same thing for established. Looking for a problem focused history and that's a 1 2. And we're looking for a detailed exam. And that is on a 1 4. And we're looking for a high medical decision making and that is on a 1 5. Back at our table. For the new patient, we had an 01, an 03, and an 05. We always go to the lowest, so our code is 99201. Now for the established patient, this one is the one I've been waiting to show you. You had a 1, 2, a 1, 4, and a 1, 5. So in this case, we don't have two that are the same. So you go to the one in the middle, and the one in the middle is the one four. So that's what I mean by go to the one in the middle. Line them up in numerical order and go to the one in the middle. So this would have been a 99214. Pause this video and do the next two scenarios yourself, and then I'm going to give you the answers after this. So pause the video and get your answers and see if you got them right. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. A comprehensive, comprehensive, straightforward should have been an 050502, which means you go to the lowest 99202. For the established, it was a 151512, which means you go to the two that have the same, which is 99215. For the detailed, detailed, moderate, you have 030304. And that would have been a 99203. And for the established, you would have had a 141414, and that would be 99214.